Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and today I am doing a haul for you guys. Um, this is one that I have been meaning to do for a really long time, and I thought that I had filmed it, but apparently I didn't. So I am filming it for you now. Hopefully that is okay. This is like a bigger collective haul than anything. Um, some of this stuff I got when I was in the States, and um, some of it I bought recently while I was here in back home and stuff. I just realized I had two more things. Um, so, <clears throat> like I said, I thought that I had filmed this video sooner, but I didn't, and I'm really, I really apologize. I have been really busy lately. Um, I haven't obviously been able to put up as many videos as I was hoping to, um, and unfortunately I'm only about to get even busier because my job is about to um, I'm basically filling in for my boss who is away for a month and that means I have to work like every single day during the week. So um, I'm going to just show you, I tried to remember everything that I tr was including in my last video when I thought that I had filmed this. It's weird, I thought that I had filmed it because I had gathered everything together, but apparently not. So there's one more thing. I'm just going to get started. If I keep looking right there, it's because I have a mirror behind me and I keep meaning to look at you. So, the first thing, I will start with the stuff that I got while I was at Sephora. Um, I got the um, two Boshia skincare thing, um, things, face stuff that I have been using. Um, I haven't, I've yet to run out of the stuff that I was used um, that came in a kit that I got, but this is the big size version of the cleanser, and then I also got the big size version of the toner, which I've been really liking them so far. Um, I've had to stop using my Clarisonic every single day, um, just because I found that it was, it was somewhat drying out my skin, and I don't know if it was the Clarisonic drying out my skin or if it's the face product, so for right now, I'm using my Clarisonic probably three or four times a week, not every single day like I was. And it seems to be helping, but it's still, my skin's still kind of really dry, so I'm not too sure what's going on. Um, I got this Soap and Glory Hand Food. I really like this in Canada. It is called, um, Great Shakes, but they don't have, like, the small version of it. They only have the big version of it, so I really, really like this. Um, it smells very similar to Miss Your Sherry. Like, it is Miss Your Sherry, I swear, only less concentrated. So if you like Miss Your Sherry, you will really like this stuff. Sorry, I'm going to move you a little bit. Um, I got two backups, two backups of the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. Woo! Um, as I drop one in the shade number 40, I really, really like these. These are my favorite winter foundations, and I had opened up my last spare one before we had gone on vacation, so I was kind of freaking out a little bit that I was going to run out of it, but I didn't, so that's, that's fine. Um, I got two brush heads for my Clarisonic. I just got the Sensitive Skin ones. Um, they look like this. They're like the, you know like that. Um, I was thinking of getting the deep pore cleansing ones, but I don't know. I kind of feel like it might be a little harsh. I have acquired, uh, in the States, I had bought, I thought I had one more. One second. I do. Okay. I was like, I have five of those. Um, in the States, I bought four Revlon lip butters, which I'm glad that I bought them in the States because in Canada, they're about four or five dollars more than they are in the States. I got these ones all for like six dollars each, and the ones that are first sold in Canada are ten plus dollars. So, um, I got these colors. I got Peach Parfait, Strawberry Shortcake, Candy Apple, and Lollipop. Um, probably Peach Parfait is my favorite. You can see I've used a lot of it. And you don't really get a lot of product with it in the first place, but I have used quite a bit of it because I love it that much. And then at London Drugs in Canada, because I think London Drugs is only Canadian, they had um, Revlon products were all $3.99. And then they were buy to get one free. Um, so I got, they only had three Revlon lip butters left. Um, 
three of their whole display because they were on sale for $3.99 and I wish that I had jumped on that bad and wig in sooner but I we had just got home and I had no idea that they were on sale so I'm just trying to think of how um, so I ended up getting the shade Tutti Fruity, which is the only shade that was available that I didn't have yet. So it is like a corally orange color. Probably won't wear it that much, but the consistency of these are really, really good. So I do really, really like them. Um, and then along with that deal, I got two colors. One I had the lady at the store pick out for me, and it's not something that I would normally pick out for myself, um, but it is an amazing color. It's called Blushed, and it's a pearl. And it is just the nicest nude color. Like, I just don't know how she managed to pick that out for me and me end up loving it. I have no idea. And then I picked out for myself this matte lipstick in um, Mauve It Over, which is a really nice color. Really like, these are actually quite similar. Only one is pearl and one is not. So, really like that. No, wrong one. And I like the packaging of the matte ones. I think they're really nice. Um, at Walmart the other day, I had was been looking for these because I saw them first on Fleur de Force's blog. Um, and they were the Kate Moss for Rimmel London lipsticks. And I was like, what? When I saw them in the Walmart, I was like, this is crazy. I'm so excited. So I got number five, which is like a strawberry color. It smells really good, too. It smells like roses. And I got number three, which is a nude color, like a rosy nude color, which is really nice as well. I really like this color. And this one smells like watermelon. It's weird. Like, this smells like roses, and this smells like watermelon. It's very strange. Um, and then I also got this um, Photo Ready 3D Volume Mascara from um, Revlon, and I'm wearing it today. That's why I was going close up. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on this, comparing it to the They're Real ben by Benefit. I've had that mascara and I did a review on my on mine and Shannon's blog about it. This is basically the same idea. It has the prickly top, but I'm not going to talk about it because I want to talk about it in my blog post. So if you want to see my review and what I think of this, um, please check that blog out. When it's up, I will post it down below. Um, I got two new nail polishes, and these are the Essie Lux Effects nail polishes, and they're super pretty. This is, these are, I guess they're like chunkier top coats is what they're meant to be. Um, I got this one in As Gold As It Gets, which is really, like, no justification on how pretty it is. And then this one's even prettier, it's Shine of the Times, which is, you can't even tell, but... It's so pretty. I don't even know how. Yeah. Really pretty. Really love that. Um, something that I ran across in the um, grocery store the other day, which I thought was kind of interesting, are these hair elastics that are doubled as bracelets. And they're kind of expensive. I mean, I got them on sale, but it wasn't really that much of a sale. Um, and basically, when you use them as a hair tie, it'll have like this, like, at the t like um, holding it together kind of so you can see that and I got them I got one pack in two different colors so that I could kind of mix and match them and wear them like on my wrist and stuff I wish that they were thicker elastics just because I have thicker hair um, but I do still like really really like them so those are really cool I got them in gold and silver they come in different shapes too three different shapes they come in square I'll show you Come in a square one, a circle one, and then like a meshy, rusticy circle one, kind of. Okay, so, um, I think, oh, another thing that I got that I made a, a video on, but I ended up not using it because I didn't really like it. Um, but, the, I have been getting beauty boxes for almost a year now. And I signed up recently for the Glim box, which looks like that. Um, and I liked it a lot more than I liked the loose button box. I'm going to do a review on them, comparing them, but I've started this little container that I have, it kind of folds, of everything that I've been getting that I just kind of want to try out. So I got hand cream, um, shampoos and conditioners, more shampoos and conditioners, perf I got like three perfumes from two different boxes, um, I got face creams, 
a whole bunch of stuff. So just wanted to quickly show you that and tell you that there is a review coming.